Hey guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Reviews. Uh, back up to on par with my videos now. I uh, did a live video with two beer cartel beers uh, that I couldn't do on a live feed on YouTube. Uh, I'll put my link to that video that I did on Facebook Live uh, in this video, just so people can go back and watch that. But I'm here with another craft beer review from other side brewing company lo-fi citrus mid 3.5 percent alcohol one standard drink uh other side brewing company was created by a bunch of music industry friends on a mission to make beer so good that bring people together part of all our sales goes supporting the creative industries through our tapped fund find out more at tapped by otherside.com so born in Fremantle Australia the birthplace of Australian craft brewing other side was started by a bunch of music industry mates who loved good beer without BS our beers are pretty straightforward they're brewed with the best ingredients and are naturally preservative free basically we make beers we want to drink and then we share them with the world um, Just click on that link. So this is what the can looks like. From um, packaging, I think it looks pretty cool. With the uh, hot air balloon with, with the barrel there. Interesting colors, kind of striking. We'll get into a glass and see what we've got. Bit of fizz. Oh, here we go. It's interesting, the, the colour that it's picking up on the camera is a lot different to how it looks like from me looking at it. Um, it it's very light in colour. Um, head's going away pretty quickly. One or two finger head. It's showing up a little bit better on, on the camera than it actually is just looking at it through my eyes. Um, Obviously a light coloured beer, obviously mid mid strength. So be interesting to see what it, what it's like. Is um in terms of going out, obviously can't do that with COVID at the moment. But if I was doing this review probably a year prior, um, going out, being a designated driver, but still being able to have a few drinks whilst being at a party and not missing out, um, mid strength beers. Uh, finding good ones, a few, uh, a few and far between. So, I um, suppose we'll just get it, get into tasting it. Yeah, well, it's definitely definitely citrusy. Getting slight grapefruit from it. And and um, slight orange peel. So we'll get into it. Cheers. Oh, okay. Well, right off the bat, you can tell that it, it's obviously a mid strength. So if anyone was trying to work out the word I was trying to say when I said 
sluttle in two of my videos. My brain was trying to say slight or subtle combined the two and that's the word that came came up so um yeah you do get um taste of orange peel and and, and grapefruit um it is a uh, quite bitter it's very easy to drink and it actually is very very tasty so I think I read somewhere, because obviously this was a beer cartel one, but I think by the can, by the can, I think $5. Don't know what it would be in a four, six pack or a slab. Hmm. Let me just re readjust my sitting. My back's a bit sore from working out and going on a bit of a walk slash run today. Um, so I'll just click on their core range of what other, other style beers I've got. Check out their website, www.othersidebrewing.com dot com dot au they've got a festive se uh, session ale which is 4.2 uh, they've got the social classic lager at 4.7 they've got the anthem indian pale ale at 6.2 got a harvest red ale at 4.5 uh, sorry at 5.4 uh, the low fi citrus ale, which we're drinking right now, is 3.5. We've got an Indy XPA, which is 5.2, and that's their range. Uh, all of them have got the uh, hot air balloon, uh, just with different colours, and obviously the different writings of the beers along, along the sash on the front of the can. So thanks to Nick for appearing on my last video. That was great fun. Obviously back in lockdown now, so I appreciate stuff like that even more now. Now that we're um, back, only doing certain things as going to going to essential work, exercise, and the like. So yeah, tough times for everybody. Where we were at 30 subscribers, which I mentioned in one of the other videos, and then probably for two weeks it was down to 21, ah, sorry, 29, and now it's back up to 31. So if you have, if you do watch, and I have looked at some some stuff on my channel that says I think 64 or 67% of people that watch my video aren't subscribers, so please subscribe to my channel. Uh, what I would like to do in the future, once I get to 100 viewers, is to do live unboxings, whether it be beer cartel stuff or things that fans send in for me to um, review. And um, won't be able to do that unless I get up to 100 subscribers. So please do if you haven't, and please uh, feel free to show this to friends and family and and hopefully they can subscribe as well so yeah nothing 
Not a lot of carbonation. As uh, as I've drunk a little bit more, that colour in on the camera is looking less of an amber colour and looking more of a real pale, pale orange colour. Depending on the lighting, um, directly above me is what's uh, giving it that darker coloured look. So, something else written on the can. Uh, it's 375 mil, which I think I said. I got some merchandise. I got some hats, t-shirts, a hoodie that you can buy on their website. If I click on. The hat's 25 bucks. Woman's tea's $35. Uh, men's tea, $35. And a zip up, one with a zip in the middle. Hoodie. $55 with the big uh, logo on the back there of the hoodie. So from a rating standpoint, so I did, did, did the pricing vaguely because it's obviously a beer cartel, done the packaging, which I, I, I think it's pretty good packaging. Um, We'll go on a rating. For a mid-strength beer, I'm going to have to give it an 8. If I was giving it a rating score as a beer just in general, I'd probably give it a 7. Um, yeah, it's, it's, easy, it's easy to drink. Um... It's definitely one that you can put heaps in the fridge or an esky or whatever um, and and drink a lot over a course of a period of time on, on a day um, and you'd be quite happy. So from a, from a mid-strength beer perspective, I do rate it an 8. It's, it's pretty good. But as a beer as a whole, I give it a 7. So... Obviously, got a few more in my beer cartel package that I'm gonna that I'm gonna do, and um, watch out for them. Um, and I'll obviously be doing other reviews of ones that I just pick up along the way, which I've got one currently in, in my fridge at the moment that I'm looking looking to do. So, I hope everyone's having a good evening and uh or morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this and um see you on the next video